Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Um, this one is one that I made a while ago when my last release came out, which is called True Colours. Um, these are some of the sheets from the collage paper pad and I still have some of these available on my website. I, I restocked. Um, I'm going to show you how I made a little book using the True Colours collection. Um, it was just really fun. Um, using lots of those bright pages that gives you instant backgrounds which you can then um, alter and play with as you want to. So I've folded the sheets in half and glued them and then folded them in half and put them together to make a book. So this is a no-sew book. I'm just going to punch a couple of holes onto the spine and then thread some ribbon through. So I have sped this video up a little bit more than I do normally just because it was really really long um, and I wasn't sure whether people would want to kind of sit through and watch the whole length so I've sped it up a little bit faster so you can see how easy look how easy that is to create a really cool little book then I decided I would cut a couple of windows out of some of the pages so I'm just drawing around a cookie cutter and cutting out a little circle um, on two of the pages so that's just going to give a little bit more interest in the small book means we're going to be able to peep behind the things on the pages behind well either side of the window I guess um, this is a really fun way to kind of alter a little book when you make one like this it's adding those little windows and you notice I've also sewn tabs onto the pages as well so I had some um, leftover bits of the paper pad and I decided I would make some coloured tabs to go on and a nice way to get those on is to sew them on and then leave all the little strings hanging. I kind of like that too. Um, then I have used one of the stamps from one of the stamp sets from the collection and um, put it onto collage tissue paper, glued it in place using some matte medium. And then I'm just using um, Neo Colour 2s and Scribble Sticks to add some colour to those and then just water activating them to just kind of smoosh them around a little bit. I've used also the uh, raindrop stencil which was part of the new release on that page on the right hand side with some white paint. So you know when you've got pages like this uh, where the background is already done don't forget that you can go in and add stenciling over the top and um, kind of give it your own twist. Uh, then I'm just outlining those raindrops adding some more on another page and then I had a little uh, mark making stamp as well which had tiny raindrops on it and I think I'm going to be adding those onto one of the pages um, in a minute here we go yeah stamping it on and then the little raindrops I've just added lots of different um, rainbow colours into them um, this is a really nice way to just bring a little bit of interest um, and I'm just using the Stubbolo Alls and, no Stubbolo Alls, sorry, Neo Colour 2s and Scribble Sticks, dearie me, um, just to add some colour to those and it just pops them out from the background. Kind of going with the busy, crazy theme. <laughs> Sorry, that was my shoe squeaking on my chair. It's really raining here today. So I've just been to make a cup of tea. So I've got squeaky wet shoes. So that was how those played, played out. And you can see you can peep those through the window. I've also sewn around the window on my sewing machine too. Um, just adds those nice extra details. So now I'm just creating a little area of calm using some white paint, giving it a good dry as I go along. And then I'm going to stick one of the paper dolls on that came in one of the sets, little quirky dolls. Um, and then once she's dry, I'm going to colour her in. And I'm going to use some um, of the Tim Holtz watercolour crayons for that. I've also cut out some raindrops. So I painted a piece of card uh, blue and then stamped the mark making stamp onto the top of it and cut out some little raindrops to add onto the edges of my page too. So just thinking all the time about ways to decorate the pages, little add-ons that you can pop on there that just make it, just kind of take it to the next level really, and another layer of interest. Then I am using the watercolour crayons from Tim Holtz to um, the Distress ones to add some colours to these little quirky dolls that are on my page. Um, 
yeah and just kind of picking the pigment off the crayons using a water brush um, worked perfectly for this page So both stamp sets that were released, the one called True Colours and uh, Be A Rainbow, they both have lots of quotes on them as well, lots of words that you can use. So I'm now going in and adding some words to my pages as well. Um, and this is just like a really nice way to kind of showcase um, how these two stamp sets and the stencils all kind of sit together and how you can make um, your own little book just using this collection so again because I've used these raindrops on another page I'm going to use them on, on some of the other pages in the book too and then that gives it that cohesive feel so there I was just making sure that some of those staples were lying flat just so that I don't catch my hand on them and here on one of the back pages I am adding in another paper doll which came from the Be A Rainbow stamp set um, and just to bring a bit more interest to this page here and of course using lots of bright colours because this collection was all about celebrating rainbow colours and bright and bold um, so this was a fun way to kind of play with that too and these watercolour distress cranes are just the bomb they are so nice Again, more words to add in, and this is sort of starting to come together. So continuing the raindrop theme, bringing those raindrops right through the book. This is one of the other stencils that came out with the release. I call it the graphic words stencil, rainbow stencil, I don't know. It's on my website. Um, and here I'm just pulling some black through this, just as a contrast with all those bright colours behind. And that is going to work for my front cover. Um, I did give my stencil a good clean because that black was quite wet. Um, I often don't clean my stencils though, so that is quite unusual for me. Giving it a good dry and then that was this little book finished. Aside from a little bit of sketchy outlining, it was all done. So lots of fun to play with. My new release, my True Colours, my most recent one that came out this year. Um, Here's a little flip through of the book that was um, no sewing apart from optional sewing, of course. Uh, there was no sewing in the binding, just the sewing to add the tabs on. But just really colourful and joyful just to play with all those bright colours and the stamps and just kind of pull this little gem of a book together so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you're interested in getting your hands on any of these stamp sets you can find them on my website artjournallove.com i hope to see you again soon bye